I was talking about the mammy. Um, <laughs> her name was Pearl, Pearl Sly, uh, which is pretty curious. Um, and she was from the little village of uh, Shinron in the county Offaly. You never heard of it. <laughs> well, what was if I was to tell you that just down the road is the ancestral home of the great, great grandfather of Barack Obama? That brings it a bit closer to home. Anyway, um, yeah, my mother was special. Um, and the other special thing that she did was she quoted Shakespeare a hundred times a day. She wasn't aware she was quoting Shakespeare, but, but she did it all the time, which is, I suppose, um, the way that people in the Midlands of Ireland um, typically talk. Um, so th this is the only, what, quiz of the evening. Um, how many times in this next passage of typical Irish Midlands talk, how many times do I quote the bard? <coughs> To tell the truth and shame the devil. <laughs> I only heard of your man Shakespeare once. And that was from an old school teacher. What the dickens is his name? <laughs> oh, a fellow who loved to hear himself talk. Asha, what's in a name? But many a time and oft he'd come over to our house in an evening and the mammy would dance attendance on him. He'd be as happy as the day was long, harping on about your man Shakespeare, laying it on with a trowel. Sure, you couldn't get a word in edgewise. Give the devil his due, he knew his stuff all right. But sure, what did the likes of me want with Shakespeare? Huh, I was never so be tumped with words, but sure, it was all Greek to me. Well, the long and the short of it was, I thought it was too much of a good thing. Sure, he was eating us out of house and home. The game is up, says I. Not a word out of him, not one to throw at a dog. Huh, as, to, as luck would have it, he leaves. Sure, it was a foregone conclusion. Huh, Shakespeare. Neither rhyme nor reason it to it if you ask me, but you're, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> okay. <laughs>